What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about physical security measures to help protect information systems and data. Let's talk about physical security. So physical security describes security measures that are designed to deny unauthorized access to facilities, equipment and resources, and to protect personnel and property from damage or harm. Physical security involves the use of multiple layers of interdependent systems that can include CCTV surveillance, security guards, protective barriers, locks, access control, perimeter intrusion, detection, deterrent systems, fire protection, and other systems designed to protect persons and property. Physical security of IT equipment is is a fundamental factor in securing a network. Let's talk about a man trap. So a man trap is a physical security access control system comprising of a small space with two sets of interlocking doors such that the first set of doors must close before the second set opens. In a manual man trap, a guard locks and unlocks each door in sequence. An intercom and or video camera are often used to allow the guard to control the trap from a remote location. In an automatic man trap, identification may be required for each door, sometimes even possibly different measures for each door. So for example, a key may open the first door, but a personal identification number entered on a number pad opens the second door. Other methods of opening doors include proximity cards or biometric devices such as fingerprint readers. Overall, man traps basically slow down a person's entry process to prevent unauthorized entry into an area. Let's talk about a badge reader. So a badge reader is a device designed to read information encoded into a small plastic card. It is often part of a data collection system in which each operator can be identified by the badge they present to the machine. It can also be used to control access to areas associated with electrically operated doors and locks. And when built into keyboards and other parts of information systems, it can control access to information. The badge is usually a plastic or paper laminated between plastic and may contain a photograph and other information in addition to what is encoded. The encoding takes many forms, some of which are proprietary and complex to achieve greater security. Smart card. So a smart card is a physical electronic authorization device used to control access to resources. It is typically a plastic credit card size card with an embedded integrated circuit chip. Many smart cards include a pattern of metal contacts to electrically connect to an internal chip. Others are contactless, also known as proximity cards, and some are both. Smart cards can provide personal ID, authentication, data storage, and application processing. Smart cards may provide strong security authentication for single sign-on within organizations and to further enhance security. Smart card security systems can also use multi-factoring authentication by requiring the user to input a PIN or security password as well as provide the smart card at secure checkpoints. Let's talk about a security guard, and this is a person employed by a government or private party to protect the employing party's assets, which can include things like property, people, equipment, money, etc., from a variety of hazards such as waste, damage, property, unsafe worker behavior, criminal activity, etc. And they do this by enforcing preventative measures. Security guards do this by maintaining a high visibility presence to deter illegal and inappropriate actions, looking for signs of crime or other hazards than taking action to minimize any type of damage and reporting any incidents to their clients and emergency services as appropriate. Next, we have door locks. So a lock is a mechanical or electronic fastening device that is released by a physical object such as a key, a key card, fingerprint, RFID card, security token, etc. And they do this by supplying secret information or by a combination thereof or only being able to be opened from one side. Although this seems obvious, surprisingly, it is common for people to get unauthorized access to areas by just simply wandering in. The easiest way to secure an area is to simply just 
lock the doors and some organizations, they go above to provide written policies that explain how, when, and where to lock the doors. Aside from main entrances, you want to always lock server rooms, wiring closets, labs, and any other technical rooms when they are not in use. Other precautions to take include documenting who has keys to the server room and wiring closets and periodically changing out the locks and the keys. Biometric locks or smart locks are devices that allow for you to unlock doors with the combination of a person's biological information, such as a fingerprint, a retina or eye scan, facial or voice recognition, and also by supplying a pin. Next, we have tokens. So a security token is a peripheral device used to gain access to an electronically restricted resource. The token is used in addition to or in place of a password. It acts like an electronic key to access something. Examples are smart cards, RFID cards, USB tokens, and key fobs. Laptop and cable lock. So most laptops, in addition to mobile devices such as projectors and docking stations, feature security locks. The slot is normally located near the rear corner on a laptop. This slot is used with a laptop cable lock. These locks work just as bicycle chain locks work. You find a large immovable object such as your desk and wrap the metal cable around it. Insert the lock into your laptop's lock slot and your computer becomes virtually theft proof. Laptop locks, they do come as either combination locks or they can come as keyed locks. Server locks. So server locks involve locking down equipment in a server rack by way of cabinets or cages with secure biometric locks or key cards that can be changed often. Some rack cabinets are very sophisticated with alarms that indicate access and improperly closed doors. Next, we have USB locks and USB locks are used to secure USB cables into a computer and to securely plug empty USB ports. Privacy screens, a privacy screen, sometimes called a privacy filter, is a thin piece of plastic that is placed over your monitor or display panel in order to prevent wandering eyes from absorbing confidential information. Privacy screens reduce the field of vision to about 30 degrees so that only the person directly in front of the screen can see the content. Many privacy screens also provide anti-glare capabilities to help reduce eye strain. Key fobs, a key fob, which is also known as a hardware token, is an electronic lock that controls access to a building or vehicle without using a traditional mechanical key. They can contain RFID chips and may be used as part of a two-step authentication protocol that works as follows. The key fob generates a code every 30 to 60 seconds. Every time the code changes on the fob, it is also matched in an authentication server. The user logs into the system or restricted area using the generated access code displayed on the key fobs LCD display. The authentication server matches the current code and then grants access. And then finally, we have the entry control roster. An entry control roster is a list of personnel who have been granted access based on verified and authenticated credentials, such as pins and other things of that nature, to where they can be allowed to enter a secured area. Along with being granted access, logs are typically maintained to track who has entered and exited a secure area at all times. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into some of this wonderful check on learning, shall we? So the first question is a type of contactless smart card that can be read at close range from a reader device is commonly referred to as what? Is it a micro SD card? Is it a common access card, also known as a cat card? Is it a proximity card or is it? a personal identity verification card. So a contactless smart card that can be read at close range is called what? The correct answer is a, a proximity card. Next question. Which of the following provides a physical security measure against laptop theft? Is it a cable lock? Is it a trusted platform module? Is it geo tracking or is it Low jack for laptops. So which one of these can help prevent the theft of a laptop? The correct answer is a cable lock. All right. And the final question is, which is an example of a hardware token? Is it a key fob, a cable lock, a 
a passphrase, or a biometric reader. So which is an example of a hardware token? The correct answer is a key fob. All right. So in summary, we have talked about physical security measures to help protect information systems and data. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA a plus 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.